Since its inception in early 2021, Tyro has rapidly grown and seen great success, quickly becoming one of the premier social hubs for mature VR gamers all over the world. My name's Kai Dasky, founder of the Tyro community, and today I'm going to be telling you a little more about us and explaining to you how you can join and get involved. Tyro started off as a small group of players who are new to the game of Echo VR and wanted to learn and develop together. Most of our early members were older adults who wanted to learn how to play the game in a welcoming environment surrounded by other adults. As word spread, more and more mature gamers joined our community. Over a year later now and we have nearly 1,500 members spanning from high-level competitive gamers down to complete newcomers. Tyro prides itself on being inclusive and welcoming to all mature gamers. True to our roots, we are still very much focused on Echo VR, however, we are expanding into more VR titles as time goes on. As with most gaming communities, you'll find us on Discord. If you haven't already, simply sign up for Discord using your email address or phone number. You can join via our website at tyro.community or via a direct link you can find in the description below. Once you've joined, you'll be prompted to verify your email and read and accept the rules. Once you've completed these steps, to the left of the screen, you'll be able to see our welcome channels. However, before you can access all of our community, you'll have to go through our in-house onboarding. To do this, head to the channel at the top of the list. Here you'll see all of our rules and an option to open a ticket. A new channel will appear at the top of your list, which will open up a direct line between you and our admin team. Just follow the on-screen instructions, so provide your username, your age range, and your acceptance of the rules. Once you've done this, there may be a short wait until one of our admin team have read the ticket and responded. Why not use this time to check out the other channels, such as the About Us, and introduce yourself. After a short while, one of our friendly admin teams would have responded to you, welcoming you to the community and giving you some tips on your next steps. You'll now be able to view and engage with the rest of our community. We have quite a lot going on here at Tyro, so take some time to look around the server and familiarise yourself. A good place to start is our Get Started section. Take a look through some of the available roles you can assign yourself. To assign yourself a role, take a look at the list of available roles and then click the matching symbol below. Assigning yourself these roles will make it easier for you to engage with the content which is relevant to you. For example, you can assign yourself roles such as which games you like to play and in which time zone you're in. A good next stop would be our community channels. Here you can get to know some members of our community. If you're feeling a little bit lost or not sure what to do next, this would be a good place to ask. Luckily we have a very friendly and welcoming community and people are always happy to help out newcomers. There's so much you can do inside Tyro. For example, if you're a new player to Echo VR and want to learn how to play, check out our academy. Here we host training and coaching events. Throughout each week, we host a number of official community events. To take a look and see what's going on, head to our official events channel. Here you can see a list of upcoming events and read some information about each of them. If you find an event and want to join in, simply click on the event you wish to join. Here you can read a little bit more about the event and see a list of participants. To join this list, just click this green button. Our events are organised by our amazing team of community captains. In the hour leading up to the event you've signed up for, expect to be tagged in one of our announcement channels by one of the community captains. Here they will explain the structure of the event and instruct you on who to add as a friend on Oculus. To join us in-game, you'll need to add the organiser as a friend on Oculus, either via the app on your phone or through the Oculus headset. A few minutes before the event is due to start, put your headset on and enter the game. You can expect to receive an invite for the game from the community captain. Once you're in-game, there's a few minutes for you to get to know everyone you're playing with. The community captain will also explain the structure of the event. Events like these are the heart and soul of our community, and we can't wait to get you involved. Back to Discord now, and on the right of your screen you'll see a list of names. At the top of this list you'll see users with special roles, such as our community captains and coaches. We understand that Discord can be quite overwhelming for newcomers, and it's easy to get lost especially in a server as large as ours. If ever you feel a little lost and need some help, feel free to tag one of our community captains in one of the community channels. To tag a user, put the at sign before typing their name. You can also tag a group of users by tagging their role, such as at community captains. However, we recommend against tagging large groups of people. 
If you have any more serious issues or concerns, feel free to open a ticket directly with our admin team, as demonstrated here. Another aspect of Discord that new users can find overwhelming are the notifications. By default, our users only get notifications if they're tagged by name or by role. However, you have total control as to how many notifications you receive. By right-clicking a channel or section, you can decide how many notifications you receive. For example, if you wanted to stay up to date with all of our community news, I would recommend enabling all notifications on our community announcement channel. Similarly, you can allow all notifications for a particular channel, such as a game channel or one of the community chat channels. And that just about sums up my guide to the Tyro community. I really hope you enjoy your time with us. If you're new to VR in general, in my next video, I'll be going over some basics for the Oculus Quest and Quest 2. And if you're new to Echo VR, check out my last video where I went over all of the basics you'll need to become a good player. The link for that video will be in the description below. So that's everything for this video. I hope you find it helpful and I can't wait to see you in game.